Welcome. This, this lecture and this in the module of writing business plans will be focused on what the business planning process is really like. That is, how do you actually go about starting the process of developing and working through your business plan? Is this something that you do? You delegate to some junior person or you hire somebody, a consultant, a contractor, an accountant or someone? develop the business plan for you. What is the process? Well, the way to think about it is you are using the planning process, the business planning process, to make the best case about what your business is that you possibly can. And I will add, you don't necessarily know what that case is yourself. You haven't necessarily thought out all the issues or gone through all of the, the analysis that you need to go through. You've only saw, thought of the things that have come up, have been issues, have been discussed. There may be many, many other things that you want to include and think through as well. You do that by networking and by research, by looking at, at what you can get information from third parties, internet, whatever, but also by talking to people and primarily by talking to people because you will be gathering intelligence and knowledge about your business as you go forward from people that have done this before and have specialization in various areas, perhaps marketing, perhaps finance, uh, operations, whatever it is. You're out there to build a network of experts who can help you think through and understand and learn about what your business actually is and where it's going to go. So let's jump into this in a little bit more detail. First of all, what we want to talk about is that when you're preparing your plan, you want to not only take your own perspective, but also draw from experts and other people in the field. I've already mentioned that. But this is also an opportunity for you to start bringing people along that understand your business, are supportive, have used their idea, have, have given their thoughts and their ideas, and that you may then be able to continue to go back to an advisory board. This might be uh, informal of people that you go to regularly, uh, friends of the family, successful people in your community, your banker, your accountant, those kinds of people, um, professors or people that you went to school with. Um, maybe uh, a formal board that meets on a regular basis to help you out. One of the important things to remember is, as they give more and more feedback to you, you take their ideas and their thought processes, and they become a little bit invested in your success as well. And they become uh, very interested and want to help you out uh, in terms of contacts, business contacts, um, uh, comments on plans or contracts or whatever it is you're doing. So that could be extremely helpful. You want to use all the resources at your disposal this is not about whether you're smart enough to do this. This is about getting the very best plan you can. And the best way to do that is to get the smartest people you can possibly find in every field to give you input and feedback into making it better. Another thing that you want to do is you want to let people review a draft of your plan early on. You don't want to be, be, it to be half-baked. But as you're moving forward and you have thoughts about how you construct your business model, your marketing plan, your financials, and all that, you might talk to some venture capitalists or some angels or some bankers or accountants that you might be talking to or using later on and get their thoughts, their feedback, their perspectives, their challenges to your uh, assertions and your points, asking for support. Then you'll know the kinds of questions that experts are likely to ask as, they go, as, they, as you go through the process of planning and, more importantly, building your business. Uh, it's a fast-track learning process from beginning to end entrepreneurship and therefore you might as well start right away by getting as much positive feedback or negative feedback critical feedback as you possibly can another thing that this sort of thing does to you is you realize your blind spots your weak spots uh, you may have nothing in there about sales for example in your plan and some people will ask you the marketing people or the finance people or the uh, investors what's your sales plan how are you going to structure your commissions how are you going to do sales? What's your distribution channel? That may not be something that's your strong suit. And you begin to realize that you need to augment your team with people that understand sales and the selling process. And you may not have thought of that. 
or the same might be true of, of development or operations or whatever. You could understand the weakness of your team and then you could augment it or at a minimum put in your plan that you need to hire people that are experts at operations or development or marketing or social media marketing, that sort of thing. The other thing that you're doing while you're working through your plan because you're talking with and you ultimately want to talk with investors is you're translating your good ideas about what customers want and the products you want to develop and how you're going to change the world into numbers, into dollars and cents, your business model of revenue, how much things are going to cost, so your earnings and your, your operating profit, how that turns into cash flow and ultimately how that builds value. Throughout your business plan, you want a seamless integration of ideas and concepts about business and the financials that make your business successful. Those are the kinds of things that you're looking for. They are inextricably linked in the business planning process. So you want to go out there and learn everything you possibly can. Here's an example of a website. There are many others that you can look for and find business plans that you can see how someone that's doing a restaurant or someone that's doing an application or someone that's doing a service business, how they're thinking about building their plans. You draw all those ideas. Of course, the work has to be yours, but that doesn't mean you don't learn from what other people are doing. This is what the planning process is. It is a learning process with the, with the ultimate product that is learned, the business and the business model and the plan that's laid out and developed. Don't forget that. If you delegate it, you're missing not only an opportunity, but there's a good chance your business will ultimately fail. The next lecture in this module will be on the contents of the business plan. It will be an overview lecture, and then there will be individual lectures about each of the various elements of the plan. So we'll see you in the next lecture when we talk about the actual contents of the business plan.